Hello everyone my name is Srinivas and welcome to my channel Tech Studio 82 please do subscribe to my channel for the upcoming latest technical videos in this video i am going to show you how to download and install oracle database 21c enterprise edition software on windows 11 operating system this we are going to perform in three step in the step 1 we are going to download oracle 21c enterprise edition software in the step 2 we are going to install that downloaded software on windows 11 operating system in step 3 we are going to walk through in the installed applications by opening the sql plus shell terminal and the gui web admin interface okay before moving to the first step there are some prerequisites firstly make sure your pc is installed with winrar software this software is required to extract the software zip files and secondly make sure you should have internet connection with good bandwidth in order to download the software file okay then let's move on to the first step that is download in this download step i am giving you two options the first option either you can directly download from the google drive link which i have provided in the below description for this you don't need any oracle account and in the second option i'm going to show you how to download directly from the oracle official website for this you need to have a oracle login account let me show you open google in any web browser and search with the keyword oracle 21c enterprise edition download hit enter on the screen you can see the google search results the second link you can see oracle database software download just click on this it will direct to the oracle official website this is the oracle official website you can see oracle database 19c just scroll down here you can see oracle database 21c this is latest 21.3 enterprise edition which also includes standard edition 2 this is for the linux operating system and this is for the hp and this is for the microsoft windows operating system 64 bit so i am going to download this one just click on this you need to accept the oracle license agreement just accept it and just click on this download button now it will direct to the oracle account login page you should have an oracle account in order to download this software file if you don't have an oracle account create account just click on this create account you need to create your oracle account trust me creating an oracle account is as simple as creating a gmail account so i am already having an oracle account i'm just going with the sign in here i am going to give my credentials i have given my username and password just clicking on sign in see your download got started the file size is 2.5 gb just click on show all you can see the download progress it all depends upon your internet bandwidth connection it may take some few minutes finally your file got downloaded successfully just click on show in folder it will direct to the downloads folder this is my downloads folder and this is the oracle 21c software that we have downloaded so far now let's move on to the next step that is installation in this installation step we are going to install the downloaded software of oracle 21c database enterprise edition software on windows 11 operating system let's start installing go back to the downloads folder this is the software now we need to create one folder in c drive just click on the this pc and c drive and create one folder right click new folder i'm naming it as oracle 21c okay now go back to the downloads folder now we need to move this file from this location to c drive location oracle 21c double click and move it here okay the file has been moved from downloads folder to c drive that is oracle 21c this is the location okay this is the base location that we are going to give at the time of installation right now we need to extract this file right click winrar extract to this folder your extraction process is in progress finally we have extracted the folder this is the extracted folder double click on this scroll down here you can see the setup application now we are going to launch this setup application as an administrator right click select run as administrator whenever you are installing any software on your machine i strongly recommend you to run as administrator just select run as administrator sometimes you may be getting pop up for the user control access just click on yes on the screen you can see launching oracle database setup wizard on the screen you can see oracle database 21c installer we need to perform 16 step this is the first step which is a configuration step here you can see two types of installation options one is create and configure a single instance database and the second one is set up software only we are going with the first one just click on next in the second step we need to select system class we have two options one is desktop class and the server class under the desktop you can see choose this option if you are installing on a laptop or desktop class system so i am going with the desktop class just click on next We need to specify Oracle Home user. We have four options over here: use virtual account, use existing Windows user, create new Windows user, or use Windows built-in account. I am going to create a new Windows user account. Username will be tech eighty two, and the password I am giving as one two three four, and the confirm password 
one two three four you can ignore this the newly created user is denied windows login privileges if you are not installing with administrator privileges then you will be getting a different error over here so once again i am requesting you to log in as an administrator before you start installing this software we are good with this just click on next this is very very important step guys please focus on this perform full database installation with basic configuration this is the oracle base default oracle base so let it be i am going with this one and this is a software location and the data file location you can see database edition we have two options enterprise and uh, standard edition i am going with the enterprise edition only and this is the global database name orcl this is important step just please focus on this global database name orcl orcl is nothing but sid we need to set the password the password that we are going to set will be for sys sysadmin and for the other admin users i am giving the same password in the previous step which we have given 1234 and the confirm password 1234 please remember this pluggable database name orcl pdb these three steps are very important at the time of configuration with sql developer these three steps are going to play a major role once again i am requesting you to take a screenshot of this please remember the password please ignore this warning and just click on next well you can see a pop up over here the admin password enter does not conform to the oracle recommended standards are you sure you want to continue yes click on yes you can see it is performing prerequisite checks and you can see the summary over here these are all the global settings and this is the database information here you can see oracle system identifier that is sid orcl and this is a pluggable database name orcl pdb please remember these two settings and also remember the password now we are going to click on install just click on install on the screen you can see the installation progress one by one it will start installing you can see a pop-up window windows security alert windows defender firewall has blocked you need to allow access just click on allow access the installation process may take 10 minutes of your time so please have some patience finally our installation got successful you can see the configuration of oracle database successful and here you can see oracle enterprise manager database express url you need to copy this url i request you to take a screenshot of this once you copy this url click on close now let's move on to the final step that is navigation in this step we are going to walk through in the installed applications that is oracle sql plus shell terminal and oracle admin web gui interface open any web browser i am opening google chrome and paste the url link in the url hit enter here you can see your connection is not private click on advanced and here you can see proceed to local host which is unsafe but it's okay just click on this proceed to local host this is the admin web page login before you enter username and password please bookmark this page click on this bookmark just bookmark this tab just click on done we have successfully bookmarked here you can see the bookmark whenever you want to revisit this page just click on this it will automatically open this web page now let's give the username and password username is system and the password is 1234 for now container name let it be blank just click on login this is the admin page you can see oracle enterprise manager database express or cl this is the database home i'm just going to give an overview of this this is the status and this is the performance here you can see the resources the sql monitor and the incidents in the performance you can see the containers you can see orcl pdb and cdb root these are the two containers i'm going to show you this in sql plus this is the gui administration part now i'm going to show you the sql plus command shell terminal let me show you click on start button click on all apps scroll down to oracle just drop down this here you can see sql plus click on the sql plus on the screen you can see the sql plus command terminal we need to give the enter username username is system and the password is 1234 hit enter see you have successfully connected to oracle database 21c enterprise edition now i'm going to check the container name by giving this command just hit enter here you can see the container name cdb dollar root this is the overview of sql plus terminal that's it guys thanks for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon please like and also share my videos to your friends and also please provide your valuable comments on this video your comments are highly valuable thank you guys